Hey all is all here, back with another rune guide video and today's rune guide is going to be on Nikki, the occult girl. She's a dark attack monster and we're going to go through the best runes for her, the best stones to equip on her and the best team ups to maximise the use of Nikki. But before we just jump into what her attack does, I've done 40 plus videos on all the rune guides on the monsters so far so go and check that out after this video. I've also done the co-op battles, so just check up there for the tag for the co-op battles. If you're struggling on any tactics on that one, that will help you get high scores. So let's just say Nikki's attack is called the Teddy Spell. This grants beneficial effect block and casts Teddy Spell on the backline enemies. Now this has been recently buffed in recent patches and the beneficial block comes extremely fast as soon as you click that. It's almost uncounterable. You've just got to be extremely lucky to do that. But 9 times out of 10, it will happen and you can't counter it. Which is why Nikki is a very powerful monster. So the Teddy spell itself. So it receives up to 5% of the max HP as damage regularly until the duration ends. It also ignores defense. Teddy will be released to inflict great damage when the duration ends. If the effect is removed before the duration ends, you will be stunned with damage. So with that being said, let's move on to the early game rooms for Nikki. So at the start of the game, when you first pull Nikki, the best runes you want to equip her is the Fatal Rune as this would increase her attack by 15% and she is an attacking monster so it's just the one that makes sense. So let's move on to the mid game. At the mid game point you want to continue using your Fatal Rune to this buffs her attack up by 15% and now you want to be also adding the Focus Rune which gives her 30% accuracy. You do want substats on accuracy crit rate, crit damage and attack if you can just so there's more chance of you landing the teddy bear on the back four because at this point in the game some people have got a higher resistance and you won't be casting a teddy on everyone so to make sure you're putting teddy on the whole back line you need to make sure your accuracy is high so what runes do we put in the late game let's find out now we're at the late game point. Oh yeah, there's two options I'd have. One being Fatal Rune, which gives a 15% extra attack. And you need as much attack on Nikki as possible. So you want to try and bring some of the people who would give her attack buffs like Megan or Colleen. Get as much attack up before that teddy spell runs out. And then I also want to pair that up with the Penetration Rune just to make sure that that teddy spell hits much, much harder. Now coming into option two, we do have the violent rune. However, there is a problem with this. You can't use Nikki again until teddy bear is released. Otherwise it just resets the countdown. So I've only put this one in here because it's handy to have Nikki in your hand. So when one chance goes and the teddy's released, you can encounter and have another teddy on there. Now having penetration on there with a load of attack, crit rate, crit damage on your substats, this will pretty much wipe out the back row into the three teddies. Which is why I've put this one in there because it is strong but just got to remember you've got to wait for one to end before you start another one. Comments down below if you use any other else or any other ticky tacks that you've I've missed that everyone else would like to follow. That will be great to let us know down below. So moving on to the stones, just making sure which stones is the best for her. We're going to go through Nikki's stones in rarity order. So her first stone will go be green, or will be green. Now this increases the damage by 15% when the teddy is freed. So again, this one is probably one of the better stones to have straight away because it does give her the extra 15% attack. 30% attack before the battle even started so this is why this one's a good one to hit early on. Her purple stone is the next one and this decreases the mana cost of a teddy spell by one. Now this is a very decent stone depending on how you build her 
This one's, I'd say, marginally better than the green one. Uh, this knocks Nikki from a 4 mana cost monster to a 3 mana cost monster, so you can pop her off much sooner. You can club this up with a swift rune if you wish. If you've got enough accuracy on that rune, that will drop her down to a 2 mana cost monster first cast, which is insane to have that pop off so quickly. So that's another Tiggy Tack there on there. So I'd say purple is marginally better, but it depends how you use her if you want the attack or the mana cost down. The legendary, if you are lucky enough to have that. When using the Teddy spell, grants attack up one on all allies and recoverable on enemies in the back line. So this is by far her best, best stone. So not only does it increase her own attack and the allies' attacks, which means when Teddy's freed, it will do more damage. The allies on the enemies on the backline are unrecoverable. So even if someone cleanses the Teddy spell, they don't heal any health and they still take damage and they're stunned. So this is why Nikki's Legendary Stone is the better stone and the best stone to have. Let us know down below in the comments if you have it, because that would be insane if you do. So what are the best team-ups for her, I hear you say? Well, let's move on to that. The best team-ups for Nikki, so you've got Galleon, again, similar to like Soul. You use Nikki, and then as the Teddy spells going down, you use Galleon to buff up Nikki by an extra two and decrease the enemy by 50%. So Nikki's Teddy now is landing 20% more damage on a 50% minus defense person. So that does massive damage on her. If she's got Legendary Stone, that is a three attack Nikki. So let's say that team is a very strong team up. Just make sure you hit Galleon before the Teddy is freed. Another cool Tic Tac uh, team up is with Chisum. Similar process to Gallium. And if you've got Chisum's Greenstone, this would also give you a three attack Nikki if you've got her legendary or a two attack Nikki without it. And you place Nikki, you use Nikki and get the Teddy spell on the back line. And then before the Teddy is freed, you use Chisum and she heals the front tank person and then buffs the people on the same line. So Nikki and Chisum have to be on the same line, so generally the back line. But this would also give the entire back line two attacks. That's 20% extra damage. So that's one way to get Nikki a little bit more powerful. Again, it's not as good as Galleon because it doesn't put defense down, but it is a, another good team up. You now know what Nikki's attack does the best way to ruin her, best stones to have her on, and the best team ups to play her. Check out this video here for the Galleon rune guide because this will make sure your Galleon's up to scratch and will help your Nikki do maximize maximum damage. And just give us a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we're going to go through all 69 monsters in the game. We've done 40 already, so let's just keep climbing that ladder. To subscribe and don't miss a thing. Thank you very much.